Hey Ben, this is Ryan with TrendLizard.com. Uh, I'm looking at another stock here that you had sent my way via email. This one is Galaxy Resources Limited. Um, boy, I thought the last one was tricky. This is a really tricky uh, stock. It's obviously a penny stock that uh, uh, has traded as low as basically 1.25 pennies. Uh, there's some bad data back here in 2014 that really mucks up the look of this chart. So uh, I wanted to find a way to get rid of this bad data just so we had a better view of it. And I had to, again, look at this just 28 uh, different ways to get what I wanted out of it to, to see what we could figure out. So for starters, we wanted to get rid of this bad data. And I was able to do that by going from a candlestick chart to just a solid line chart. And that cleans it up a little bit, gets rid of that bad data and gives us something to work with. So from a long-term perspective, GALXF, which is the ticker at least on stockcharts.com uh, for Galaxy Resources, uh, it was incepted back in 2009. Uh, for the most, most of its life, it's been in a downtrend. That downtrend does look trendy. It's a very clean and trendy move uh, that appears to have ended in 2015. It did. It definitely did end in 2015, at least this leg of it. Uh, since then, it's been in a really nice recovery. Uh, absolutely, or most specifically off about October 2015's low uh, into the current time, even though it's having a pretty rough week this week, down about 11% so far. So uh, that's where it's at. Um, we wanted to, let's see, look at it uh, again like we did the other stock as a linear scale, just to put it in better perspective, or at least get some different perspective. Uh, and you can see once again, it was a really sharp decline relative to the advance when you look at it this way. Uh, that ended again in 2015 and, and is recovered from there. So the potential for this recovery, uh, whether it's trend or a counter trend recovery, something we can't really determine yet, is for it to move up to uh, 70 cents to a dollar and ten somewhere. This is the retracement area that it appears to be headed to. So. That's the potential. That would be a really nice move. It would at least double in value, maybe triple in value from here uh, to get back into that yellow area. So that's the perspective uh, from there. So if we start zooming in and taking a closer look at the recovery, uh, again, it gets a little bit funky. Um, this is just uh, every, every bar here is a day. Uh, it's kind of choppy, volume's low, all that stuff. It's really hard to get a good feel for what's going on here. So instead, I went back to where the bars are weekly. Um, it just gives us a little better perspective and gets a little better feel for it. So it looks like it has the potential to be a trendy move off the 2015 low, at least the late 2015 low. Uh, it's been really strong, uh, definitely persistent, mostly up weeks over the course of the last year and a half or however long, or I guess about a year. Uh, so the potential is there. Um, still, it's another stock that I personally would rather see pull back before I buy it. Uh, it has been in a nice up move. It could be at a near-term high. It could be at the end of uh, this up leg that began in early 2016. This might be over and it might be time to pull back. So um, basically what we're looking at, um, if we take a step back again, um, for the entire up move to stay bullish, GALXF needs to stay above 17, excuse me, 0.17. I have this wrong, it's 0 0.17. Uh, it has to stay up above 0 0.17 at all times, um, or the whole thing is forget about it. It's not tradable. You'd have to think it's going to continue its downtrend overall. So good enough, but I mean, that, that's, that's far away. I mean, it'd have to get cut in half basically for it to get down to 17 cents. So um, if we move in a little bit closer, um, basically, and again, I did this wrong, I guess I'm not used to trading penny stocks, but um, 0 0.22, it needs to stay above 0 0.22 um, to keep this kind of labeling intact and to keep things pointing uh, higher overall. So I think that's a level you can use. But again, it looks like it could be at a near-term high. It looks very deep into this move. I think it will continue overall. I think the potential again is there. I find the right chart to go up uh, to 70 cents to a dollar ten or so, um, but I think you're better off waiting for a pullback here and then trying to buy the breakout after the pullback occurs. Just because, again, you got to put a stop level so far away that it's it's difficult to do that to take on that much risk in a move that is already so well established. So I think you can buy it. I think this will continue, um, but I would wait for the pullback. Uh, you could look to buy it once it breaks out or at least close to breaking out um, and then trail your stop from there 
and I can certainly give you a more accurate stop level or even entry level once the pullback actually occurs. And then again, you'd just be looking for a move up to the 70 cent to dollar ten range. So I hope that's helpful. This was a really tricky stock. There was a lot going on. It's really difficult to get a good feel for it. Um, but again, I think the potential is there for it to continue and it should be a good buying opportunity. At some point, I would just recommend letting a near-term pullback occur. Otherwise, the closest stop you could use at this time that has any meaning at all would be at 22 cents. So thanks, Ben. Have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you soon. Take care.